Hi guys, so this is a walkthrough of the main features of iOS 5 on an iPad. Um, as you can see, here we have an iPad, and um, it's super responsive. There's not really any like major performance issues with iOS 5. Um, the first main thing I would like to show you is messages. Let me cover um, the names up of some people. Um, I guess that didn't do much good. I mean, you can see my email address. That's pretty much it. You can iMessage anyone now. Um, it's kind of buggy, though. It doesn't sync with your iPhone or iPad. Um, properly. Maybe they'll fix it in the next update. Um, there's a new feature. Um, the keyboard can be split now. So if you just like separate it from the center, it can be split. You can actually move it up and down. Um, I tried to do that, but it's pretty hard looking f at to the camera. Um, but yeah, you can do that. You can put it anywhere you want, up, down, merge it back. Um, next feature, I guess, is reminders. Um, it's pretty handy. Um, the reminders actually sync with your iPhone and iPad properly. Um, unlike iMessage, so it actually helps. Um, apart from that, there's nothing else really going on. I mean, there's like a new music app, but it's pretty much similar to the old one. Um, Newsstand is another main feature. You can open like the New York Times, read a newspaper. Um, it costs money though. Like subscriptions are pretty expensive, so I don't really know how useful Newsstand will be. I'm sure there's some people who probably love this feature. Apart from that, I mean, the same, we have our apps, they're working properly, nothing really going on there. Everything's been updated. Um, Safari is actually new as well, so now you have tab browsing. Um, I'll try and be good about this. Um, it's kind of hard, as I said, looking at the screen. And as you know, I'm a Bollywood fan, so um, that's why we had odd search terms. Um, yeah, so here we go, Let's see, it's like tab browsing, move back and forth, do whatever you want. Um, that's pretty much it. Then you can like close them. You can go back to your tab and that's pretty much it guys. Um, the performance is really good. Folders work properly. Everything else was, works properly. Um, I feel that the iPhone probably has um, the biggest improvement. The iPad pretty much um, has just become a little better. I guess the next thing um, I should mention before I end this video is that the music app will show it to you. Um, it looks different, kind of more simplistic. doesn't really look like iTunes. It looks like its own um, special iPad app. Um, and there's like quick access to the store. You can like change between things. That was already there. Um, apart from that, there's also like a small change in mail beforehand when you click the inbox, like that thing, like pretty much there was like a pop down menu thing, but now it pretty much just like slides in from the side. Um, it's pretty neat. It actually looks much better. Um, so the last main notification I actually forgot was notification center. So you can see any notification you get, it's like, oh, you have a message from Facebook, literally pops up, pops down. Um, it's also shown on your lock screen, but... Um, notification center is actually really good. And the last thing is iCloud, so you don't actually have to um, back up your stuff on your computer anymore. You can just use iCloud, and it makes life a lot easier. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you later. Bye.